Who's calling me? Oh. oh my god. Can you just give up already? It's been a week. What? Oh, nothing. Just some friend from college, you know? Like, they want to talk about the project I have? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. Be careful, though. Uh, how's today, anyway? Not too crowded? Oh, you're going home? Okay. Okay, goodbye. Uh, take care. Oh my god. Oh, hey Tess. Sorry I didn't see you there. I know, I'm like, same stuff every single day. It's basic. Today is raining again. Yeah, it's always when I'm done with my shift and, you know, like, I'm ready to go home. You're not going home? Oh, excuse me. Oh my god. What? It's not like I don't want to. I just... I don't know. I don't have anything to say. Oh, yeah, hey. Uh, is there anything wrong? What? Oh my god. Why? Um, please tell them I already got home. I don't want to, you know, like, I don't want to meet them, like, right now. Uh, oh, no, nothing, really. It's okay. Uh, it's just, you know, small issues. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, yeah, I'm really sorry, boss. I just, I will sort this thing out very soon. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, I feel bad, but what I'm gonna do? Tess, you are one of my good friends, and I will tell you everything, like, after this thing, sort it out. It's just, there is something happening between me and my bestie. Yeah, that one. I know, but, you know... I will take care of it, just maybe not now, maybe soon, I don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 Tess, uh, you are the strongest person I know, and, you know, extra shift, extra money. Yeah, okay, bye. Oh, great. I forgot to bring that umbrella again, Jesus. Um... Well, I guess it's not that raining that badly, so maybe I'll just go home. Ugh. This is just like that day. What are the odds? Maybe I need to buy a raincoat or something, like, really soon. I'm gonna get sick if I keep doing this. Oh wait, my shoe ties. What? Who? Oh. It's you. Why are you here? Did, did you just follow me? No. Then why are you here? I see. Yeah, okay. Bye. I'm fine. Just keep your umbrella to yourself. I know that you have too, but I don't need it, and you know, thank you, but I don't need it. I'm okay, uh, I'm used to this actually, besides the rain isn't that bad. Oh great, I'm fine, just, just keep your umbrella to yourself. What? Um, well... I just don't want to answer it. I know that you want me to explain what is actually happening, but I'm not ready to explain it like right now. So I just ignore your call. I'm sorry, but please understand. Well, I know that. I know that you might not want to talk about it, but the way that you got into so much trouble, you know, like calling me every day and even show up at my part-time place that speak for you you just you just don't go to that much of trouble just 
just to say hello or maybe talk to me casually see i'm right um look if you want me to say something about that photo or what i wrote i'm not ready to talk about it you know like maybe i will but not right now sometimes i wrote things about what i felt because i want to preserve the memory about what happened in that picture and before i put it to somewhere somewhere safe you know like my memory box the box that i put every single photo album i have so just that i feel like i just ruined everything you know i don't want you to know because i knew it will be some uh, strain or relationship or change everything that we have things will be awkward i just i don't know please i want to go home i'm i'm sorry for everything and yeah one thing and maybe we shouldn't see each other anymore like at least for a while i don't want you i don't want to make you feel obligated to act differently since you know my feelings let's let's just stay away from each other for a while after i sort things out about my mind my heart everything i promise we can be friends again if you want to okay I don't know. I don't know. It's just better this way. Excuse me, but I want to go. Uh, you don't... Don't you realize? People will come here and ask what is wrong with us if we keep standing here and shouting at each other, you know? I know. I know it's raining and there's not much people around here. But... Yeah, maybe there's no people around here because it's raining pretty badly, but it will be soon because it's already the time that people go out from the office, you know, so please, no, please, why are you like this? You want me to go to your flat again? For what? Is there anything you want to know from me? Just ask. I will tell you. Right here. I will say it here. I will tell you everything you want to know. But I'm not sure if there is anything left to say. What? I told you I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm used to this. This past week, I've been coming home drenched from head to toe. What? No, I'm okay. I'm not shivering. I'm okay. Please, don't do this to me. What? Oh, you have something to say about this too. Why didn't you just say it here? Why? Is it so hard to... Why... Why are you hugging me? You will get wet. What? You won't let go until I go with you? Okay, I will go. Okay, okay, I will sit. Uh, thank you for the spare clothes and the towel anyway. Oh, thank you for the tea as well. So... Who's gonna talk first? Me? Oh, okay. Why? But, but is there any particular reason why I should talk first? Okay, I understand. So, I am a girl that just get transferred to that school because my dad need to move here due to work i don't know one single soul in here i i am a new 
student in your class and one day we have a group project and the teacher set us up with three more people and we talk for a bit between our works we have a lot in common and you know like I haven't clicked with someone like someone like you something like this other than with my best friend that lives in my hometown but we didn't talk anymore after that I um, do you remember that day when it's raining after school yeah uh, I remember it very very clearly yeah that one day I know that I look tired and I look miserable that day and I just want to go home and you know like sleep but I can do anything because I don't have my umbrella I don't have raincoat I don't have anything to shield myself from the rain so I just stand in front of the main entrance and just waiting but, and then you suddenly tap my shoulder and ask me if I want to borrow your umbrella because, you know, like, I really look miserable and I know that you feel sorry for me. And I don't want to, you know, like, I don't want to bother you because it's your umbrella and I am the one that is stupid to don't bring my umbrella because... I, I know the forecast said that it will be raining, but I just ignore it. And because of that, you offer me to walk me home. When I asked why, you said, well, you're my friend too. I mean, we go to the same class and if a friend needs help and I should help and we walk home. You don't care that half of your body trenched because, you know, like you tip the umbrella to me, so I won't get wet. And we didn't say anything when we walk, you know. Then of course, my mom had to insist that you have to eat with us because you help me and you walk me home and as a thank you. And I knew that since that day, I knew that you have a really kind and beautiful soul. I'm touched with your kindness. I, you know, like, my feelings grow. I, I try to give you some hints about it or, you know, like doing some stuff like in hope that you notice my feelings, but you never did. As the time goes by as well, we became a really great friends and, you know, we we become best friend and I just don't want to ruin what we have, so I stop and let my feelings go away, but it never did. And here we are, um, the feelings never went away. <laughs> and. I even falling in deeper and deeper since the more I know you, the more I know how beautiful you are inside and out, you know, like, I just, I just hide it and I hope that someday you will like me too, but please uh, know that I won't force you to feel something that you're not, I just... I just want to let you know that about the truth, you know. What? About the photo? Um, oh, and what I wrote as well. Okay. Um, well, uh, I, I, I like that photo, you know. I love the memories we shared together. We and some friends crashed to Teo's house. You remember Teo, right? He has a really big house and we crashed his house and we have some small parties there. 
we ate, we sing, we dance. Like it was one of the best day I ever have. But that is also the time that I want to confess about my feelings for you. I feel like it's now or never. I just I just want to be honest and I want to tell you the truth. But I didn't do it. I am a coward and I know that our friend Lana like you too. Yes, I knew that. She actually confessed it to me. And uh she is just like a sister to me in that time, you know. So I naturally didn't want to ruin her moment. She already planned this ahead and well I cancelled mine. I actually know what happened with the confessing. I am the one that set you two up. I came with this great plan and you know like I asked her to wait at the balcony and I told you to go there since Theo has this really cool telescope and I remember that you said you always want to try one. I also know that you rejected her. I saw her storm out from the room and go home immediately without anyone noticing. I know. Uh, you know, I feel bad for her, but at the same time, I didn't because I feel relief, you know. Then after a few days, I printed some photo I took and wanted to put it on my memory box. You know that box, right? Uh, the box where I put every single photo album I have and some of my scrapbook. You know, because... Well, this is just a silly habit, but sometimes I wrote some things about the photo. Uh, you know, like the, on the back of it. Uh, it, somehow, it somehow helped me to remember what is happening that day. You know, like when I just uh, took it out of the photo book and I just turn it back and, and I see what is happening in that photo and why this, why that photo is taken, you know. When I'm starting things out and put some photos in the photo album and write things down about the photo, I saw that photo, the photo of us. I I really love that photo, you know. And before I realized what I was doing, it's already written there. But I don't really remember why I put that photo inside the book, you know. Like, I was staring at it, I guess. And I put it inside. And at some point, I forget about it. It was never my intention to put that in there, like, on purpose and let you know the truth this way I, I'm i sorry that I, I I don't know I guess I should be honest with you from the start but we can turn back time you know and that that is my story what about yours? I want to know what you have to say Why are you suddenly squeezing my hand? Is there something wrong? What? Is this true? You, you're, you're not saying this because you pity me? Oh my god. Oh my god. You like me too? This whole time? Oh my god. Since when? So, you did read the book immediately, and when you reached the middle of the book, you found that photo? 
um oh my god then you already then you already read what i wrote for for years why didn't you tell me or i don't know said something about it at least bring it up casually you know what what why oh you know this truth will embarrass me and i'll be mortified and you never knew that i like you until you read that okay so you didn't know what to do at first um w- why why like why di- why you then like me you know like after a while after you read that writing uh, 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 really you think so wow I oh my god I don't know. I feel like I I feel like you know, I'm happy that that you see me that way. Oh, oh wow. Thank you. Thank you. No one ever told me that. You know, since it's already revealed now why don't we just set our true feelings to each other me first okay i like you i really do for now and might be forever since i felt like i like you even more after that long story You never fail to amaze me, and I hope you won't stop doing that, you know, being your amazing self. You make me really happy ever since we knew each other, you know. You never fail to make me feel better when I, when I am at my lowest, and you never fail to make my happiness less when I'm happy. I want to let you know that my feelings never went away and I am confident to promise you that I will be here forever and keep these feelings alive yes that's the word I want to say is it okay? (laughs) well okay we can use that word yes I love you. I really love you. I really do. I promise I will love you forever. I fell in love with you from that day and will fall even deeper each day. Okay, here. Thank you, promise. Oh my god. Okay, one more. <laughs> oh, that's more than one. Sorry. Um, I feel like I'm making up for lost time and I can stop. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. We can take our time. You wanna say something too? Okay. I love you too. (laughs) Wow, look at that. The rain finally stopped. Do you want to go to the balcony? You know, like for some fresh air? Yeah, let's go. Wow, 
Wow, I didn't realize that the view from your balcony is so pretty. Oh, <laughs> oh, now you are getting bolder, huh? Just pulling me to you like this. It's small. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know. Uh, at least the balcony fits two people and we can still watch the view from here, right? Yeah, finally. The sky is so clear now. And not gloomy anymore, just like past few days. Looks like the universe know that our storm is passing and we finally get our long sunny day. It's celebrating with us. <laughs> yes, I know that it's too much and maybe it's a little cheesy but maybe all of this is just a big coincidence. Oh my god, whenever you say that, I feel like I can't believe that we finally can use that three and four words every time we want, no? It feels weird, yet it's exciting, it's fun, It's it makes me feel happy, you know? I'm so happy that finally we can be here together you know and finally we can exchange this word i love you <laughs> <laughs>